Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth. Uncle, whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. I'm probably like little shards or something. Wait, so, like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it, it probably you know, break up into little icy bits. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? I suppose. Wait, so you're saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss? Oh, for you really are as stupid as they say, aren't you, Finn? God, fuck you, Cutter. Garrett, let's go! I hope to never lift one of those again. was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. 
where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you... make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. think you're doing? Surprised to see me, eh? Because the way you left me, you can't have thought you were going to see me again. How did you escape the guard? I got my hand on a rock. I hit him over and over. <gasps> I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. And he deserved what he got for what he tried to do to you. I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. For either of us. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? Anyway, he'll never show up again to tell them. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. Someone paid him to kill me. They're still out there. They might try again. Oh, God. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just keep your eyes open, and I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Look, I, I appreciate all you've... But I never asked you to help me. You didn't have to. I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. You're not my friend. You just show up in my life. I don't know you, Tom. All right, all right. I wasn't just in the gardens that night for my health. I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. 
Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh. If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way.
What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. Fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight! This is absurd! That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I'll take care of my house. You take care of your men. Let us keep them apart. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Look around you. Times are hard. Your men eat the same as the rest of us. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! I'm glad you see the order of things. It's a long fight. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you couldn't really stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls. And Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here, to high point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan.
He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. The White Hills know that harming Ryan, killing Ryan, would mean war. There is no turning back from that. We must secure Ironrath. So we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitel will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Asher? Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I understand your hesitation. But why would she want to meet? Is it still about Asher? I couldn't say. That was a long time ago. And even if she still has feelings, it can't be just about that. It's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? 
Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Gareth! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He, uh... He came to ask about the North Grove. Gareth. You have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Cotter's a clever one. He could be a real help. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one's for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Gary. We'll be practice swords to Gary, start. what's the matter? Don't want anyone you know him. Their balls. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? Pay him no mind. He's nobody. Well, he'll soon be a man of the watch. No ignoring him now. Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I threw with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. 